Hello Sagittarius. This is Teresa from Tarot by T. And this is your reading, your love taroscope reading for the month of July. So we're going to see what's going on in your love life for July. And before we get started, I want to bring in some good energy. Calling the angels and the highest forces of divine love and joy and truth. May the truth be told. Thank you for liking my channel. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate them all. And I'm glad to be able to help with these readings. Uh, thank you for letting me know when the reading speaks to you. Okay, Sag, let's see what's happening for July in your love life. What is going on? What is? What does Sag need to know? What do Sagittarians need to know about their love life in July? What does Sag need to know about their love life in July? Highest forces be present at this reading to ensure that the truth be told. Okay, let's see. The Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Sun. Great, great card to have at the end. Okay, let's see what's going on. So you start off the month of July feeling trapped in a situation, feeling like you're afraid to move out. You want to break free of something. You have the Eight of Swords here. You want to break free, but you're afraid to move. You're afraid that you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. It's one of those cards where if I stay where I'm at, I'm going to get hurt. If I move, I'm going to get hurt. So you're stuck. You feel stuck. But really nothing is stopping you. If you're in a situation that you're not happy, nothing is stopping you from walking away. I mean, you're free to go. You just have to overcome that fear and you have to develop that confidence. Crossing you is the King of Cups. The King of Cups can represent a water sign. Um, it could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or it can just represent someone in your life who's very, he's got very deep emotions. And he's very sensitive. And he's very, he, his feelings run deep. He doesn't always show them. But he has a lot of deep feeling. And um, he's kind of secretive. He doesn't always like to talk about his emotions, but he feels them deeply. Don't be mistaken. Just because he doesn't show them doesn't mean he doesn't feel them. And he could be a counselor, a teacher, a psychic, an artist even. He Because the water signs are very creative. And they're very sensitive and compassionate. They have a lot of compassion. He's kind of calm. You know, no matter what's going on, he never never shows anxiety. Not like the air signs would or the fire signs. They might be more tense or more upset about things. The, the water sign can't... The, the, um, I almost think of the sign of Cancer when I see the King of Cups. Cancer or Pisces. But it could also be Scorpio. Um, and if it doesn't fit that sign, it could just be the type of person who's calm in the middle of a crisis. Always knows the right thing to say. Always knows how to take control. But because he's so sensitive, sometimes the King of Cups can um, can drink to escape. He likes to escape into his fantasies. And that can involve alcohol or drugs or just watching movies, create you know, art. Maybe he likes to paint or play music. It's a form of escaping reality. So, he could be someone that you're involved with in July. Maybe he's someone you're trying to get away from. <laughs> Maybe he's making you feel smothered. 
because the eight is, you know, this feeling of trapped, of prison, like I can't move. The nine in the past, nine of cups, um, shows that you've gotten, you're, you're getting a lot of um, your wishes met. The nine is a wish card. So things have been working out for you in a lot of, um, in a love relationship, there could be a physical component. There's physical compatibility. There's attraction. Um, but maybe you feel he's too clingy. This person's too clingy. Now I want to say he, it could be she also, if this is a male person listening. Um, maybe you feel like someone's too clingy, too, too needy, too sensitive, and you're feeling smothered and trapped. Even though you have a good physical relationship, because the Nine of Cups is about physicality. It's happiness that comes from possessions, from love, from eat food and dine, whining and dining, enjoying life. You know, so maybe this person's the kind of person that eat, drink, and be merry. You know, let's just enjoy life. So maybe you've been doing some partying with this guy. And now you need to take some time out. You have the Four of Swords here, so you, you've been having to take some time to really think about what you want to do with your life, where you want to go. Um, so you've been isolating yourself. Maybe if there's something you're trying to heal from. Maybe you're just feeling like being a hermit in the, in the recent past. Um, or you just need some downtime. Maybe you spent a lot of time um, with a lot of people and now you just want some downtime. Coming up in the future, you have the sixes. These two, you have three sixes in this reading, so this is good. You're moving toward July will be a lot more harmonious. Whatever struggles you've had in the past, you're going to be coming out of them in July. The six of wands is a, is a career success card. You're going to be um, recognized and um, hailed as the rock star. People are going to start to see that you have talent and that you have. Um, abilities. So you might be acting more as a representative, taking a more um, a more public role in your career where you're representing the company and you're traveling to different places as a representative of the company. You have two travel cards here, the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. The Six of Swords is about moving away from a difficult situation and moving toward more harmony, moving toward a situation that is more peaceful, less struggle, and navigating a difficult um, scene. You might have to have difficult conversations with people, maybe this person, um, to try and explain, you know, what you're doing, um, that you need more space, that you need more freedom, that you're feeling trapped and smothered. So you need that this person needs to back off a little, give you some more space. Because um, they can be intense, these war signs. They can be a little bit smothering. And that's like death to a Sag who enjoys their freedom. They don't want to be tied down. They don't want to be smothered. They want to be free to run. So you have the Six of Swords and then it's followed by the Ten of Pentacles. So you have this dilemma because a part of you wants security. You want the security of a relationship. You want to know that someone's there for you. And here's this. This is the wealth card. You want to feel that, you know, you're financially secure and that you have this relationship that makes you feel like you have roots, that you have stability. At the same time, you want to have your freedom. You want... <laughs> so, um, if you're not in a situation that's paying you enough, you could be moving on to a better situation that has more financial security, because this is a wealth card. But you have doubts about this. Uh, it's almost like you're thinking, I, I don't know if I'll ever make the money I want to make. Or I don't know if this opportunity even exists. But it does. And you're going to be finding it in July. Um, you have the Seven of Swords here in your environment. So this is the Thief card, or the Sneak card. So maybe you feel like you don't trust this person. If there's a relationship in your life, you're wondering if they're being totally honest with you. Or if they're just telling you something, trying to manipulate. Um, because the seven is like, you feel like they're not telling you everything, that they're holding back information. 
or they're behaving in a devious type of way. Um, so you have to be careful about who's around you in July and who you can trust. Um, you may be the one, maybe your, your environment, your friends or family think that you're being secretive about your plans. Maybe you're working on something and you can't divulge everything right now. And you need to wait until things develop before you come out and tell it like it is. Because Sagittarians are very honest. They always like to tell it like it is. Um, but maybe in this situation you have to keep your plans under wraps. Because you can't really... Um, it's too soon. So um, you might be perceived as someone not uh, being sneaky or devious. Um, so just be prepared for that. Maybe you feel like someone's saying one thing to your face and another thing behind your back. This is also sometimes like... Or you might be feeling used. And if it's not you feeling used, maybe it's the person you're involved with feels like you're just using them. Um, because this card represents the thoughts of a person. If you're in a relationship, this position talks about what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So maybe they think you're being very secretive and they don't trust you. Or maybe they think you're not telling them the whole story. Um, and they're not sure if you're taking advantage of their kindness or not. I don't know. It's kind of... Um, they have doubts about your intentions. Here's the Six of Pentacles, though, in your wish fulfillment. So you're really wanting to work in a career where you're helping others. You really enjoy giving to other people. Um, maybe in a healing profession or some kind of caretaker role. Um, but it's definitely a compassionate, a giving, a, kind of like a social uh, thing. You know, counseling or healing or... Um, where you're taking care of people that are kind of needing advice or needing help in some way. So that could be a dream of yours. You're trying to um, establish yourself in that way, in some kind of situation like that. And you're giving a lot towards this goal, almost too much. You're almost forgetting to give to yourself. You're, um, but I think you're going to have to find that balance at some point where you have to stop and also take some time out for you. So don't forget about this card. You need to recharge every now and then. And fire signs have a tendency to overwork, overdo, especially Sagittarians, they overdo everything. <laughs> they are about expansion and abundance and um, sometimes you can go over the top with your actions. So remember to give to yourself in July. As much as you're trying to plan, and, I mean it looks good, because you end with the sun. You can't get better than that with the sun at the end of the reading. The sun means no matter what you're doing, it's all going to work out. You're going to have a happy outcome. So if there's a relationship you have in mind, you have the wish fulfillment card. If it's a career goal and making more money, maybe even journeying to a new location because you have the Six of Swords. When the Six and the Ten come together, sometimes it means a uh, change of residence or moving to a different location. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to work out fine. You're gonna The Sun card, you're going to either meet someone or be involved with someone where you enjoy their company so much you're like two kids in a, in a playpen. Or if you find a new job, a new work situation, you're going to really enjoy the work. It's not going to be like work. It's going to be like play. Because it speaks to so much to what you like to do, what you enjoy, who you are. So the sun is a great card to have at the end. It's a success card. It's a um, positive outcome card. You can do no wrong. So you are moving away. You're going to break free in July of your fears if you can overcome your fears and, and get yourself out there and try something new, go for your dream. Go for your wish card. You will achieve it in the sun. You're moving towards harmony. Harmony and financial stability. And you might even establish a, a home somewhere. Because this is a card of, you know, a solid foundation. You know, where you have money coming in, you have a house... 
you have a relationship, you feel safe, you feel protected, you feel secure. And you're worried about that, you know, you have doubts about it, so you need to drop those doubts, um, stop focusing on the negative, and focus on the outcome of the sun. Focus on the rain clouds clearing up and the sun coming out and shining. Focus on everything that you want to manifest rather than your fears. And that will break you out of this prison. And that will set you free on the right path. And I think you're going to have a great month in July. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, whoever this person is that's going to be in your life is going to bring joy and fun to your life. Um, so it may even if... I think you're going to have a great time in July. You're going to see a lot of your dreams manifest, start to manifest. Um, so keep the hopes up. Keep that Sagittarian optimism going. And um, welcome, embrace July, and have fun. Have fun in the month. Honor that inner child in the month of July. Well, good luck, Sagittarius, and I will talk to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next month.